Hey guys, welcome to a YouTube episode. A YouTube episode where we're gonna play Victoria 3 and we're gonna play as Sweden. I think that feels like a good comeback. Um, I just wanna say sorry for not uploading ever anything for a very long time. Um, I don't have a good reason to it either. It was just life took, took a lot of time and I didn't have time for this. And uh, I really should have done a video explaining everything for you that have followed me for many years, but um, I'm really sorry about that. Like, honestly, it just felt worse and worse the more time went, and yeah, then it felt <laughs> bad to do that. Um, sorry about that. But let's hope that you will join me in what will hopefully be the continuation of a long and fun journey here on YouTube. If you want to see more content otherwise, I stream half regularly on my Twitch page, just yeah, the Daniel on Twitch. Um, but otherwise, let's jump into this game. And uh, yeah, playing as Sweden, I'm thinking we're going to do this research colony economic power of the north against everyone. If we're going to have any allies, we'll see about that. But um, let's jump into this and let's also reduce me. <laughs> have, just imagine having me that size the entire video but anyway so sweden sweden victoria i think is kind of interesting they're not the greatest power they're not the strongest power but they have pretty good research they have uh, well kind of garbage okay they have the research that's more like this and they have a pretty good opportunity to become more free open well more free in the sense of opening up for elections open up for really good reforms that's really going to improve ourselves later later in the game so i think we're just gonna begin with um, just make sure we get a bit more food out to the people we're gonna raise our taxes because of course we are we are sweden uh, we're gonna make sure that we have some extra taxes on services and on let's see let's do luxury clothes um by the way if you want me to um change the volume of myself the game the music anything like that please tell me otherwise Hope you enjoy the content and, um, well, like, comment and subscribe. I guess I can say it right now. Uh, so let's see, what's the first thing we're going to do? Yes, the first thing we're going to do is fix the economy and um, the industry right now. We need a few more construction sites. Uh, I know I'm not going to play optimized right now, but when did I ever... Well, actually, the only time I played optimized was probably when I played NSIG in Hoi. Wow, that, that was a moment. Um, but otherwise... Mostly I play the games just a bit more free for my, especially Victoria, I think, just what I feel is good and similar things like that. And if you have any questions about the game, I think I should be able to explain them. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to play the game as I'm, like I'm not streaming or recording. Since I'm not actually streaming, I'm recording, Daniel. Wow, this is going to take some time to get used to. But yeah, we are raising taxes quite a bit. And people are going to be so pissed at us for a while. But um, I'm going to accept radicals just for the sense of uh, money and building up our economy in the beginning. It's going to be a... I think it's a decent trade. Uh, let's see. We're going to go into laws and see if we can, can switch to something very quickly oh yeah look at this we can already switch to landed voting i think i want to wait a tiny bit with it i would like to remove monarchy first because we are i think we're gonna we're gonna go for this everyone can vote maybe even communist but super super research heavy state so i i think it's gonna be saying just imagine swedish space marines marching down he's taking over the world i think that could be really cool but we are also gonna well make sure that um well we have some colonies let's just say that <laughs> it's gonna be it's very very important for half major nations to smaller nations to have a colonies just so they can almost catch up to the major nations let's see for that if we want to switch to any colonial law we need let's see armed forces and not rural folk in our government so let's see if we can do that uh yes we can just shuck in the armed forces right away and it's even gonna improve my government right now uh it's actually unacceptable which i very much don't like let's let's for now reduce the taxes just a tiny bit right there uh hopefully that's gonna improve it for now uh by the way we are also going to um well it's gonna take a little while but um we're gonna change everything every single thing we have to the lowest of tax uh, well to well we're gonna increase the what is it called protect domestic goods we want all our supplies that we produce to stay in our nation. I generally want to make myself as self-sufficient as possible. 
Uh, even if it does reduce the amount of money we earn just a tiny bit, I think it's definitely worth it. Just so we don't get stuck in kind of, oh, X person stopped trading with me or embargoed me and now I'm screwed. I see this as just an extra income. Sure, like I said, this is definitely not optimized, but um, it's kind of how I like to play it, Victoria. I want to be self-sufficient no matter who I play as. Uh, so, by the way, loss, let's go in here. Colonial, 26% uh, colonial exploitation. I would have liked resettlement, but uh, since we have higher shots right now uh, for this, that's what we're going to do. I should mention that I haven't actually played uh, Victoria after the DLC very much. So, like this, I'm not 100% sure exactly how this works, but um, I mean, imagine if I have three setbacks, it's just going to fail. Otherwise, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works. So we almost have full gold reserve, which is really, really good. Now we're just going to make sure we build stuff that people actually want. So we want a bit more fiber, but I think it... Let's see. Our, we also want more meat. So that's a pretty excellent opportunity then to build a few more livestock farms. So we get both of it. And we're going to get fertilizers, which is going to be very important for us later. Uh, right, we need to mention that right now our economic loss interventionist uh, means that half of our production facility is going to just be taken by the capitalists um for them to build their own things which is pretty good like for now it's gonna be decent but i want to be able to build two things by myself so we need to bump this up to probably twice this which means three more all right otherwise research 54 um i'm feeling oh wait 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 let's use double shake 10 percent more enactment chance 20 prestige ignore prestige in all decisions, in my opinion, we can just take that later. We don't have to care about this. We take it later. Uh, otherwise, let's get 10% more right there. Fantastic. Really, really great. And we should probably also, let's see, we're going to build these. Then I'm already going to begin just getting a few universities. Let's see. Where don't we have it? Oh, God, I've forgotten one thing. Oh, no. Of course, I've forgotten one thing. Uh, we haven't actually double-checked that all of these laws are set as we want them to. Uh, we don't have any die. We're not going to have die for quite a while, so I'm going to stay right there. And that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yes, yes, yeah. No, no, we're going to wait a tiny bit with it. So maybe we are completely... No, exactly. We need a secular and we need philosophy. Max out that research, please. Oh, God, we've only wasted like a few months. Uh, this we are improving with research, iron mines, fine, 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 sawmills, hardware production, maybe something we want to switch out, let's see, we're good with logs, okay, we're good with logs and we're fine, most likely, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, okay, maybe we, we were okay, we were okay, just the research stuff that was um, unfortunately not fantastically set up, uh, we of course gonna have to build one more paper factory, so let's do that, and I think I want to fix the market access as well. Uh, so we're going to build one more right there in Svealand and one in Scania. Just, I always try to get ports up before I do any kind of railway. And of course, we don't have railway research, so... Uh, really? 46 now? Come on! Stop being so goddamn unhappy. There we go, 47. Much better. <laughs> uh, the introduction done. Consideration going on right now. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, all of these expected can't really say anything about it uh we're gonna fix that later let's see we are building with two of these fantastic we're losing five care months fantastic i you always want to lose money but in the very beginning uh, it, there are definitely ways you can play this where you can optimize the depth and lose money at the same time as you uh, i i'm not good at it i always want to try to keep uh let me just double check uh, yeah, we can allow one minus right there. I always want to keep my gold reserves plus in the beginning. And since people already hate us, let's raise the taxes a bit more. And, oh, wow, really? This is how it works? It just instantly can be... F All right. Uh, yes, let's reduce rural folk. We are not interested in what they want right now. Uh, we're doing one paper mill, and then we're going to do ports. Oh, wow, we already built those three factories. So we're going to get more fiber. We are not going to get more fiber. Uh, where do we build these? Right here. We should be. Wow, we, we require that much more, suddenly. Uh, pop needs construct. Oh, right, we need construction. For we use it for construction right now. 
Fabi, yeah, quite a bit of it. So, um, what we did before was probably fine, just that since we built more production, of course, we're going to need more. Uh, let's see, done, done. We're building both two of them. That's going to be great. Uh, let's see. Of course, we will exploit the colonies. Uh, political movement support. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Come on, just assert it. Please. Do it. <laughs> Uh, all right, port in Svealand, very good, port in Scania, uh, let's hold off a tiny bit now on building, just so we chill a tiny bit, and yeah, as you can see, we have 100k radicals and 6k loyalists, not fantastic, but we can definitely sort it out very soon, uh, let's see, do we have any kind of, sp no, it's 43%, more or less, where we are, what does it actually do right now, minus two opposition, enactment time, radicals, yeah, that's fine. And 100 more radicals a month. Yeah, I don't care. So now we're just going to chill a bit, earn a bit more balance. Actually, do, can we build something? Just one thing at a time, maybe. Uh, iron. Yeah, we should definitely just fix that iron and tool need right now. Let's build one thing at a time, though. Descent, break rank. Come on, this is not what we needed. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm going to accept one setback for 5% more chance. That's fantastic. Uh, otherwise, oh, right, right, right. I need to double check these. Uh, sure to Sweden, no. There, no, we're not boosting or suppressing anyone. No, we're not. We should really do. We should really, though. No. Uh, let's see. We're gonna, first of all, remove landowners. Suppress them and suppress the Sure to Sweden. Oh, we need 200 for it. Can we fix it somehow? Yeah, I think we can. We're gonna reduce, we're gonna remove those. Yeah, consumption of luxury, that's worthless. And, but no, not bolster, suppress. Suppress both of these. Two things that are just going to be annoying for us. Everything we want to do, these two guys want to ruin. And rural folk might want to ruin it ruin it as well. Borgeries, 50-50. Uh, but um, most of the time, these are the three people we're going to work with. So we'll see exactly how everything goes. There we go, building one iron mine. Uh, we need to get one tool factory, please. Thank you. Decreasing by 15%. Come on. I was going to be so happy that we got it early. And now we're just getting royally screwed. Uh, let's see. We also need to, after this, rush down right here. So we can get the... Uh, we can get the... Well, medicine against malaria. Having that one very, very early is going to be so helpful when you build your colonial empire. We should maybe even have gone there right away. When I think about it. But um, well, what do you do? Uh, let's see, so I want one of these in each state, and that's are gonna be our number one priority right now. We're gonna build them, then we're gonna chill for a while. We need to get our literacy up, and of course the innovation. We need to get our innovation, what we currently generally, to our cap as soon as possible. Oh, very nice. We are building one tooling workshop, and so is the capitalist. Fantastic. Love that. Love that. Uh, ethics. It's morally correct. Uh, or, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yes! That was very cool. Very nice. Uh, revolution against this? With what? Angry support from interest group, support from radicals. Come on. Come on, rural folk. Why? i never seen how this works. Yes, let's try to reduce that. Maximum progress 77. So yeah, that should be fine. We should be fine from this. We should not get screwed. I'm fine with having almost a revolution. The armed force must be loyal to state. I guess if you want a civil war, this is what you pick. But no. Armed forces. Or maybe you want to reduce the power of the armed forces. So that might be screwing you up in that way. But yeah. Good, good. Just general updates. Really good. Knowledge for general staff, very nice. All right, let's see. Now we're going to make our people just a tiny bit more happy. And we can go steal tools and everything right here. Sulfide paper, lo would love that. But I don't think we have any sulfur mines in Sweden, if I remember correctly. It was a very long time ago I played Sweden, so I might not. We have lead and we have coal, but we don't have any sulfur. Uh, that almost rhymed. Almost. 
Uh, we can get fertilization, but I don't think we can... I was gonna say make sulfur, but no. You need sulfur in the fertilization bank to make explosives. That's how it works. That's why you need colonies, God damn it! Rebels detour, uh, academics become more radicals. 2% in Sweden or 20% in Jutland. Let's just pick 20% Jutland. Sure, we have a few right here, but um, we, have, we don't have that many in general, which, well, we... Come on, really? My lord. We are really not lucky with that colonial law right now. And make rural people more happy. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Let's make him more make them more happy. They're really, really pissed. But Darius can have to accept it for now. Just accept it. We need this no matter what. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What the hell is this? Should stand down. Failure of judgment, interest group, and minus 25 popularity. Yes, let's actually do that. Bernadotte. Stand down. Maybe I can start switching colony then. There we go. Finally, colonial exploitation. Uh, let's see. Now we need to... Oh, shit. We haven't actually declared any interests. Uh, wait, how do, how do I do that? Uh, we do it through here. I think that's where we want to declare everything. Yes, please. And it will take some time, but we should be able to do something soon. We just need to start something. Oh, wow. They are really hard. Ugh, damn it. There we go. Uh, let's see. That's so many days, though. Um, all of these are just terrible. Nothing. Uh, I, this is completely new. I haven't seen it. So, I sorry. I'm being a bit... Uh, stunned right now. But yeah, we do need to get something up and rolling. Um, let's see, where do we have those lovely sulfur mines? Uh, we should be able to check it like this. We go in here. We go in here and find sulfur. Here, here. Okay, some right there in the French market. Uh, so if we make our colony right here. No, have you taken all of it? Yeah. God damn it. There's some sulfur mines still. We can establish a colony. We just need something to begin with. Of course, we begin in that goddamn corner. That's the worst thing. Worst place you could begin. Uh, but it could already establish a colony for us. If we manage to finish that. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, we need to go institutions. We need to max out this. This is all maxed out. We can maybe begin... No, no, no. That's terrible. People really don't want to switch from monarchy just yet. Freedom of conscious. We want total separation if we can. So let's try to do that. Why, like, technically, why? Um, we Right now, this is giving the Church of Sweden 15 more political power. And it also gives us more uh, authority and stuff like that. But... I'd rather you... Actually, we, we can accept that. We can accept that for now. Freedom of choice. Definitely going to be removed later. Uh, and this I haven't even seen before. State anarchist. What the hell? Pretty cool. It looks like something I could really want to use. The stat seems awesome. Yeah. Sounds... Looks really good. There's probably some negative right there that it didn't breed through right now, but um, we'll see about that later. Uh, no home affairs. We should definitely get a national guard, even though that pisses off the people I want to be happy. But um, let's let's get that up and rolling. Gonna help with radicals and stuff like that. Cross border inve investment. That's not too bad helping them. But uh, sure, sure. Let's let's help Norway just a tiny bit. They are our uh, what is it? Personal union right now? Yeah. I, I didn't see it, actually. I just remembered it. But uh, there, personal union. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else can we do? Swedish and Gaul is isolated. Yeah, what can we do about it? Uh, we can build a port right here, and we do have money right now. Uh, we have 18,000 peasants right there. So let's like, get that port, and let's build the sulfur mines right away. No, 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 no. We don't, no, don't need to. We want to build one of sulfur mines, yes. But we don't want to build two of them. Um, let's just do this. And then... Research-wise, we are doing that and this. 
That's going to really help us. Yes, yes, we still need to go that way. We still need to go that way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're earning 64 right now a week. Um, we are going to have to build more of it, but it's also draining our cash stack quite a bit. I think it's 1,000 for every university. More or less. A bit more, even. So, um, let's stay clear right now. Let's accept what we have and then... Wait a, wait a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. Enactment success chance. Uh, let's do stay focused on law. Losing 14,000 right now. Our GDP is going upwards. But that's kind of stand still right now, which is kind of sad. Uh, we need to maybe just in general focus a tiny bit more on everything right now. Let's see. Tool. Yep. Yeah, let's get like two more iron mines. Uh, right there, right there. And let's also get one more tooling. Back to if we can. Uh, sure, let's get in Svealand, that's fine. And this is never gonna happen, 4%, let's just ignore that. Uh, how is our government? 50% right now, that's much better. That's definitely much better. Can we get higher than that? No, we can't. Uh, so we should focus on something that people are really gonna like. <laughs> Actually, reducing their liberties are gonna be something they really like. Social security, maybe, migrant controls. Uh, let's see, local police force, dedicated police force, that's something a lot of people like. The landowners don't, I do, let's go for this. And that reducing the power of the landowners, that's that's a win-win situation, this is definitely a win-win law. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. We're getting that sulfur mine as well, so now, oh god. Why are we... Oh, right, we're getting the sulfur mine. Right, right, we still have a need for it. I was gonna say, we don't need it right now, but it's good to have. But yes, we do actually need it right now to make paper cheaper. Uh, let's see. There we go, production begun. We have enough for this. And you are gonna... Yeah, that's just gonna skyrocket. That's awesome. And our colonial law helps. And now it's gonna get seven other days per area. So all the major powers have a massive advantage over us right now, but we're gonna get there. Dedicate very successfully. Yes, very nice. Uh, why do we need ammunition? I don't think our... Let's see, no and no. Why would I need ammunition? Oh, by the way, everyone should got them be cargo ports, please. Uh, yeah, where where's that need coming from? Trade routes. That's... Are people in... Oh... How, how, how are they, how are they trading ammunition with us when we have no production of ammunition? I feel very confused right now, but all right, sure. Uh, I, if, as you can saw, I, I, I did have quite a few. Oh, um, maybe I should actually move my camera. Maybe I should have it like this. Uh, whatever. It's not like you missed any important information, honestly. Um... Uh, we fertilizer, yes, that's what we want to do. We're going to improve this as well. We're going to get slaughtering tools. Everything to increase food and... Um, food and... Um, food and um, fabric production. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough fertilizer though for all of this? If we check. Yeah, very much looks like it. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do right away that's going to help us. 82, wow, that's so much iron we need. But luckily we are producing more and more. We really need to fix these two. The rest are more like gonna come for itself. Uh, it seems like we are gonna need to get two out of two right there. So let's do that. Come on, Daniel, stop and pause. Stop pausing. Uh, let's see, 65. We should try to fix that. Even higher, please. How much are we currently paying for different things? We don't need to focus too much on military. Government wages are very high right now. But that's all. That is basically research. <laughs> so we can't really reduce it. Well, like, yes, we can. We can definitely reduce that. That's just making people a bit more pissed at us. Doesn't actually reduce research. And minus 10% prestige. But like I said, ignore prestige for now. And military, actually... Who cares about that right now? Wow, I should have reduced both of them just instantly. It's gonna make some people pissed off. But the people I piss off right now are generally the ones that like me. 
So we're gonna be fine. Yeah. And this is just people trading with us. So I it's decent that the prices are very high. Well, they become of course higher for me as well, since people are trading with it. I'm a bit tempted to just well, remove the trade routes at all, but nah, I'm gonna keep them for now. Uh so get two more factories and then one more tool. And since you are lacking a tiny bit of infrastructure right there, well tiny tiny bit, you're actually reducing almost you're actually losing almost ten percent of the infrastructure. So we're gonna build one more port after all of this is built and done. Cool. Uh four point six million right there. We have three million Daniels, and as you can see, two hundred and seventy-five thousand radicals. Oh, we're gonna be fine we're definitely gonna be fine and there we go important research done already not something we picked ourselves but something that's gonna quite massively hopefully change our research we can bump this up that's gonna require even more tools and coal of course both helping our sulfur mine and our iron mine mostly our iron mine but we're gonna have to of course then start building the one and only coal mines so many coal mines are going to be built throughout this game and you're going to most likely be very tired of hearing me say those words but we need more coal <laughs> oh it's going to be crazy and wow we are getting so much research i don't I, I don't remember us getting this much research for free before like it seems like the spreading of tech is really really fast uh, Alright, I should probably mention, if your game doesn't look like this, it's this is just a tiny tiny mod that, well, adds this bar. Basically, so we can see prestige, infamy, legitimacy, convoys, total amounts of fortillas, and troops for free. Uh, let's see, so we're finished one of the research techs that are really really important, and now we're gonna go down and get this. We need a cutine. Yeah? Um... Producing a malaria effect in our colonies, that's going to make us just speed ahead out of the other colony nations. Actually, they might even start with it. I don't remember them being this big before. Uh, let me see. Uh, I want to see one of the other people's colonies. Nine, minus 90% malaria, exactly. So we should just be able to really quickly speed ahead here after that's happened. Institutions, we might want to pick some more tech after that, but we'll see. So after this, we need to go in and get dynamite, I think, or nitro nitroglycerin to begin with. But that's going to be after this. We need to improve our mines quite a bit, please. Otherwise, we are pretty good right now, I think. Modern sewage, thank you. Another is free research. I, I remember having to research all of these. Maybe I just forgotten how much sweden get for free uh sure let's clear denmark rivals they're currently 54 with our we have 144 and that's with the 25 percent minus power projection uh do you have any allies that we need to worry about right now you have no allies wait what you have no allies usually you have a prussia that loves you Ooh, very interesting we could definitely go in and crush a bit of Dane. Of course, of course, the Swede, the Swede attack Denmark as first war. <laughs> um, that's very, very interesting. I think I will. I think I will. But let's leave that war as cliffhanger until next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully say welcome back and not say screw you, Daniel. But otherwise, I hope you have a good evening, a good night, good morning, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.